Hey guys, I'm back, and I recently did a video on why taking vitamin D can help you lose weight. Today we're going to talk about the reverse of that. Your fat cells actually determine your vitamin D levels. Now this is a bit complex, so I'm going to attempt to make it very simple. So hopefully I won't confuse you more, but I did put the link of the video down below, and also it'll be at the end of this video. Okay, so what are we talking about? We're talking about how much fat you have on your body and your vitamin D level. So there's two things you need to know. The fatter you are, the less vitamin D you're going to have. Obese people have very low vitamin D levels. When you lose weight, you actually increase your vitamin D level. Okay. But why? Why does your vitamin D levels go up when you lose weight? In order to understand that, we have to understand a couple additional things. So there's this relationship between fat and vitamin D. The less vitamin D you have, the fatter you're going to become. And the less vitamin D you have can increase weight as well. And we're talking about expanding the adipocytes. All right, so what's the missing piece of the puzzle? Is this little guy right here, which I rarely talk about insulin or insulin resistance, right? But it's insulin and insulin resistance. So if you have too much insulin over a period of time, your body becomes resistant. And now insulin is dysfunctional and your body starts making more and more and more of it. So in other words, certain functions of insulin are not working. For example, your ability to absorb glucose, your ability to absorb nutrients, your ability to lower blood sugars okay, be becomes a problem. However, certain other functions of insulin are not affected, like insulin's function to store fat and also prevent fat burning. So you get fatter, but you're not able to adjust the blood sugars or absorb the nutrient or absorb the fuel in your cells. So the cells are always hungry all the time. And insulin resistance is what's behind diabetes type 2. Also, insulin causes the pre-adipocytes, which is the pre-fat cells, to turn into the adipocyte, which is the actual fat. So what you need to know is this. Insulin and insulin resistance increase this, okay? And it goes the other way too. The more fat you have, the more insulin resistance you're going to have. So we talked about these two relationships. We've talked about this relationship right here, but now there's another relationship over here with vitamin D and insulin. When you take vitamin D, you actually lower insulin and you improve insulin resistance. Why? Because vitamin D enhances the survival of the cells that make insulin in the pancreas. They're called beta cells. This is why it's so essential for a diabetic or a pre-diabetic or someone that has insulin resistance to make sure they have enough vitamin D. Because the actual transition between insulin resistance, pre-diabetes, and diabetes occurs when you get dysfunction in the pancreas. So if you have enough vitamin D, you may not get that dysfunction in the beta cells, the cells that produce insulin, and you may not develop a full-blown diabetic state. So in summary, the reason why your fat cells determine your vitamin D levels really has to do with this relationship right here. The more fat you have, the more insulin you have, the more insulin resistance you have. When you lose weight and you have less fat in your body, you're going to have less insulin, less insulin resistance, and you're going to have more vitamin D. I may have completely and utterly confused you even more. Hopefully I didn't. But check out this other video on the screen to show you the relationship between taking vitamin D and losing weight. Thanks for watching.